Well, hi, this is Chase Swift. And in this video, I know a lot of people ask, how does aperture affect depth of field? And I actually found a very good article online that I will uh, give you a review of on this video. Um, so depth of field is the amount of focus uh, and this line here would probably represent or does represent where the focus point is based on these lenses. And you can see the aperture of 1.8 is very wide and open, allows a lot of light to come through the lens. And then you have 5.6 and f22 is just a, a little pinhole in comparison. So f16 is a small aperture and produces a great amount of depth of field. In other words, what's in front of slightly, but more behind the subject will be sharp or reasonably sharp. The opposite uh, at point 1.8 or something like 2.8 or two or something like that would be very shallow depth of field. In other words, the background would be out of focus. Now there's some other good images on there. Here again is a small aperture like F22 and a large aperture allowing a lot of light like f1.8 or f2 or something like that and it varies on the lens <clears throat> so uh, here is uh, another visual when you have f22 the small aperture you get a lot of depth of field in other words the flowers are in focus from the beginning all the way back to the mountains and the city in the distance Whereas a large aperture, f2.8, in this side of the photograph, yes, the, the flowers are in focus, but they generally are only in, uh, near the, the subject here. And they're actually a little blurry in the foreground, and they are definitely blurry, and the background gets very more blurry towards the end. So photographers are constantly making the decision, what do you want to be in focus, and what do you want to be out of focus. Now you want the subject in focus, of course, but the relative uh, elements around the image, do you want those all in focus or do you want some blur to draw attention to the subject? So an F22 would give you lots of depth of field or lots of focus on a large aperture would give you less. Okay. So those are just decisions that you'll need to experiment with. And sometimes uh, you'll surprise yourself when you um, think one setting will be exactly right and you change it to see the difference. And uh, you'll see that you won't see it as you preview, but when the photograph is actually taken. Okay. So I hope this video helps you on how to understand how uh, depth of field is affected with the aperture. Hope you enjoy this. Give me a like if you uh, like this and uh, we'll see you in the next video especially if you subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye for now.